here we are. Time for the final alternate rundown before the long-awaited rundown 8. Alternate rundown 6 isn't all that challenging compared to some of the previous rundowns we've dealt with, but we still got a total of 13 different missions that we're going to have to make our way through. Like always, things will start off simple for the first few levels, but just because they're simple doesn't necessarily mean there won't be any surprises waiting for us. Hello everyone, Professor Scaler here, and welcome to the alternate R6A1 level guide. As always, we start off with your loadout, and today, nothing too special, just the typical loadout of a bio tracker, a mine deployer, a seafoam launcher, and then any sentry of your choice. Again, no rhyme or reasoning behind this loadout for the most part. Bio tracker is just to give us some information since the lighting in this level isn't all that great in some areas. Mind Deployer and Seafoam Launcher will be our primary means of dealing with almost every single one of the alarms in this level. Plenty of doors we can shut, mine and seafoam and whatnot. Sentry, just to give us a little bit of extra firepower during those alarms to help us out, or to just deal with rooms that have a lot of enemies in them if we do accidentally wake them up. And of course, it'll help out a little bit there on extraction, as we are going to have to hold out for a little bit against a few waves of enemies. You could swap this loadout around a bit if you want to. Really, you could play any loadout and get away with it, as this is an A-tier mission, so not all that complicated. Dropping down into level, you'll see that your main objective is to find the matter wave projector and bring it with you to extraction. That matter wave projector will always be located inside of zone 80. As for you and your teammates, you're going to be starting off inside zone 75. In here, there will never be any sleeping enemies, but there will be some resources for you to collect. And there's also going to be three different security doors. Now, the northern security door is the direction you need to go to to actually get to zone 80, but this door is locked and requires a color key card, which will always be located either in zone 76 or zone 77. So hop onto the terminal that's on the northeastern corner of this area, use it to figure out which one of the two zones that key card is in, and once you know, head over to the respective security door, both of them are just simply full team scans, and head right on inside. Inside zone 76 and 77, it's just going to be a few regular strikers and shooters here and there, there'll be resources for you to collect, and of course, there will be that color key card. So just make your way through, deal with the enemies, grab your resources like you typically would, and once you have all the resources you want and that key card, go back out into zone 75, go to the security door to zone 78, plug the key card in and you'll see that the security door has a class 2 alarm tied to it. And as you can see with this map overlay, there are a few different possible spawn locations. Now ideally you're not going to have the western and the eastern zone opened up so you could completely disregard one of those two directions, but no matter what there will be two different spawn locations for enemies and there will either be two or three doors that you can mess with. Since this is just a class 2 alarm and you can very quickly complete it, I would just say shut all the doors I've highlighted and then place a mine on each of them, and that's really all there is to it. You do not need to see from them at all as you can complete the scans really quickly, and your sentry can just be placed near the open security door that they will be coming from. Once everything is set up, activate the alarm, finish the scans, deal with any of the enemies who are still left alive, then you can just pack up your things, go back to the security door, and activate the checkpoint scan that's tied to it, and once that scan is finished, the door will automatically open up. As for zone 78 itself, in here, same thing as before, more enemies, mostly regular strikers and shooters, but there will potentially be a few giant strikers as well, there will be resources for you to collect, and at the back end of it, you'll be able to find the security door to zone 79. Now this security door is going to have a class 3 alarm tied to it, a little bit more difficult than the previous one, but setting up for it is actually quite simple. As you can see with this map overlay, there's only one possible spawn location for enemies, and there are pretty much three different routes they could take to get to you and your teammates. So what I recommend you do is make sure every single one of the doors I've highlighted are shut, then these three that lead directly into your room go on ahead and place a mine on every single one of them, but once again you do not need to see from anything quite yet. What I would recommend you do instead is just simply activate the alarm once you got everything set up, start working on the scans, then the person with the bio tracker can tag the enemies, that way you know what direction they're actually taking to get to you, and then the person with the seafoam launcher could quickly run over to that door or doors if they take multiple different routes, reinforce them a bit, and just buy you some extra time to work on those scans. And that's really all there is to it. Once you have finished this alarm and everything has been taken care of, you just pack up your leftover tools and you can head into zone 79 itself. In there, no resources, no enemies whatsoever, there will be a few boxes of lockers, but for the most part it's just going to be things like glow sticks and flashlights, although you could find some artifacts, so by all means keep an eye out for them. And at the far northern end of this long rectangular room, you'll be able to find the security door to zone 80. This door is just simply going to have a full team scan tied to it, so whenever you want to you can proceed into there, 
And zone 80 itself is just one big circular room, no enemies, no resources. The only thing in here will be the Matterway Projector right there in the middle of the room. Once you pick up the Matterway Projector though, you're going to be temporarily teleported out to the Desert Dimension. Out here, not much is really going to happen, no enemies or anything. You'll just be able to walk around for a little bit until the game automatically teleports you back into Zone 80, and once you teleport back, a few different things are going to occur. The first one is that the northern security door to Zone 81 will now unlock, and your extraction scan will appear on the other side of it, but you also have an extraction alarm that will be initiated, and enemies will be coming at you from the south. So as soon as you get back, first on the Matterway Projector, you're going to slowly walk over to the northern security door while the other people run ahead of you and open up the door as there's no scan or anything tied to it. And once you get there, you're going to go through the door, get into the room, get to that extraction scan, put the Matterway Projector down on the ground, and now you just have to hold out for a little bit as waves of enemies will be coming after you. If you have any sea foam or mines or ammunition left in the sentry, feel free to place those down however you see best fit. And once you get that scan all the way to 100%, you are done and you have completed alternate R6A1. And that's all there is to it. Alternate R6A1 commences the chapter of teleporting to unknown dimensions and dealing with whatever new horrors we find out there. And while we might not have encountered anything special in this mission, I can assure you that the next one won't be quite as forgiving. As always though, thank you for watching this video all the way to the very end. I do hope that I was able to provide you with some assistance in beating this level. If you have any tips or tricks for this level that you want to share, any questions for me, or you just have something in general that you would like to say, please do let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from me, and if you want to join my lovely community, there's a link to my Discord down in the description as well as some other links you might be interested in. Among those links being one to the official GTFO merch store, which as always, I highly recommend you check out if you're a fellow GTFO enthusiast and you're looking to pick up some sweet merch. Until next time, the clock is ticking and Rundown 8 is quickly approaching us, or at least I'm predicting it is anyway. <laughs> I could be off on that, who knows? Maybe we'll get it in December, maybe it won't be until January or later, but hopefully I'll see all you wonderful people in the next video.